So we're gonna start with our foundation row and I have my stitch markers already uh, here because I like to use stitch markers for the to uh, see the first one of the row and then I used green or blue for the uh, good side of my work and a pinky for the back side of my work. You can use your own colors but that's how I work uh, today. Uh, so we're gonna start with our foundation row. There we go, we're gonna chain four and my first chain I'm gonna make like this around my finger and I pull the yarn uh, one time and put it on my finger. Then the second time around the uh, thread and around my finger, pull it through and there's my first stitch. Easy as that. Then we're gonna make chain four and that's the beginning of our foundation row. One, two, three, four. And four is for the height of my uh, stitch, the two high double crochet, I call it. And uh, we're gonna make our foundation row like this. I'm gonna use a multiple of three, so I'm gonna start with uh, 15 uh, crochet, uh, two high double crochet. So I'm gonna make 15 of them and I'm gonna show you how. The difference be between a double crochet, uh, a treble crochet or a double treble crochet and the two high double crochet is that the stitch I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you, is connected the one stitch to another. And with double crochet it's all uh, one stitch at the time you crochet, but I connect one with each other. I saw the uh, uh, movie for this stitch with four or five stitches uh, in the middle so there was no foundation row there was no beginning there was no end only I saw the stitch uh, five time crochet there was no name for it so I don't know if there is an English or American name for it I call it myself I make myself the name for two high double crochet because you make two uh, double crochet, uh, treble crochet in one time. And I connect one with each, each other, so I can't call it uh, double or treble crochet, uh, treble or double treble crochet, because it's a different stitch because of the connection. And the connection I will explain. Look, uh, excuse me for my English by the way, because I'm from the Netherlands and I have only two or three years English, so I have a, a basic English, but uh, um, making YouTube tutorials with crochet uh, terms is different than normal English and my English is not that well but I try my best and I hope you understand. There we go. We have four chains and we yarn over and here you see I'm gonna make my hook. Here you see our four stitches one two three and four. We only used from the second stitch from the second chain the left uh, thread, so I'm gonna say uh, uh, over and over again, we only take our lefty, uh, our left one, and then I mean the left uh, thread of the V stitch from uh, the chain. So every chain is like a V, of, yeah, every chain you can see the V, look, V, 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 and we only take the left thread of the V from the second stitch. So there we go. Yarn over. And only the left one we pull the yarn through is three. Yarn over. And in the last stitch we also pull the yarn through one stitch. And we have five on our hook. Important to know for a foundation row is that we make a stitch on the bottom. And we make a stitch for row one. And the bottom stitch you can uh, use two times the stitch on the bottom uh, to make uh, a beautiful stitch. And for the row one you only you make one time a stitch and then you have one stitch for uh, the row one. Uh, I explain what I mean when I'm uh, going along so please watch closely what I'm doing. For the stitch on the bottom we're gonna chain of a yarn over and only make your stitch uh, again make your stitch a little loose because on the bottom we also need a loose um, stitch so make room in your stitch you see here i have plenty room in the stitch 
yarn over and pull like this with gentle care uh, one pull the yarn through only one stitch on the bottom of the stitch now you see here a uh, loose one stitch under these two threads we're going to use again when we finish this stitch and we make a new foundation uh, again we're going to use this stitch to finish the stitch you will see what i mean i'm taking my pinky stitch marker and make it around these two threads on the bottom so you can see on the bottom which stitch you're gonna need to make a second time so feel free to make a stitch marker or uh, uh, another thread around the two uh, threads on the bottom yeah so we pull through one to make a stitch and now we're gonna make the stitch for the row one and it's the two high double crochet because we crochet two double crochets in one time so yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and in the next stitches i'm gonna say yarn over four times so you meet that means yarn over and pull the uh, yarn to two and that's four times so um now here we see this is the first stitch it's like a um a v upside down you see here one two three and four and here you see the long uh right uh angle for the stitch is connected with this stitch oh i forgot something we're gonna use our stitch marker to mark this first stitch on the uh, upside you see these two threads i make my stitch marker and that's the first stitch i'm gonna use the four chains i don't use as first as first stitch you can use it as first stitch so then you must make the four chain the two loops and make it the chain for the hook but i use this stitch as my first stitch so that's the stitch marker now we're going to make our second um, foundation row stitch and that's like here you see our first chain here you see the second chain this uh, chain is connect this uh, thread is connected with this stitch when you see this thread there's also a left thread from this stitch and we're going to use this one to connect this stitch to the next stitch so that's the difference with the two high double crochet it's connected with each other yarn over you see here the connection with the other stitch on the left side there's another thread and you're gonna pull your yarn through this um, thread only one so we have three on our hook yarn over go to the bottom of your work and you see the two threads from the first stitch you make on the bottom these two you also have your stitch marker and when you put a stitch marker when you don't put a stitch marker you can see the two threads of the bottom here you see here the the tail and above the tail there are two threads these two here we're gonna make another uh, insert to finish this stitch look insert the hook under the two threads here only the two threads there he is so two threads you pull the yarn under these two threads so you finish the stitch but we must make a new stitch so yarn over and make room in this um, this stitch so yarn over and gently pull the yarn through only one stitch then you see you finished this stitch it's become a beautiful V and this is uh, yeah a wrinkle uh, around it's not a stitch yet so you make a stitch and you finish a stitch so again here you have the two threads 
When you have stitch markers, make a stitch marker around these two threads, so you know where to insert your hook for the second time to finish the stitch. So the repeat is, make a stitch for the bottom, make the uh, stitch for row 1, finish the bottom and make a new one. I will show you uh, in a minute uh, what I mean. There we go. Yarn over four times to make the two high double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, is two, is three, is four. We have our second stitch for the row one. And here you see you have one finished stitch. I will show you. I make my loop a little bit longer. So it's easy to see for you. Here you see the first stitch, here you see the second stitch. And we're gonna finish this stitch and make a new one. And you see here we have a V because it's finished. And here it's like a wrinkle, it's not finished yet. So now I'm gonna show you uh, three stitches um, right behind each other. Uh, what the rhythm is for foundation row for this two high double crochet. Watch me closely. There we go. Yarn over. Only use, here is connected, only use the left thread of this stitch, of the second stitch, pull through and you have three. Yarn over. Search for the bottom stitch and under the two threads you pull the yarn through to finish this stitch. So under these two you finish this stitch Yarn over, make through one is make a new stitch. When you have stitch markers, uh, immediately make a stitch marker in these two stitches. Here you see one, two, and now we have three. So make your stitch marker when you want to use stitch markers. So you make another stitch for the bottom, and now we make our stitch for the a two high double crochet, so yarn over four times. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. Here is connected. Only use the left thread to pull the yarn through. Yarn over. Use the bottom two threads. When you have your stitch marker, yeah, use your stitch marker. Look. When you have your stitch marker, use your stitch marker to search for the two threads you gonna need. So pull through these two threads the yarn to finish the stitch. Pull a yarn through one to make a stitch and make your two high double crochet. Now I'm not gonna use a stitch marker and let's show you that you can see here you have your finished stitch and here you have your wrinkle. So under these two threads you're gonna make your finishing stitch for the bottom. Look. Yarn over, only the left thread you pull yarn through and have three. Yarn over, on the bottom only the two threads you pull the yarn through to finish the stitch. You pull the yarn through one to make a stitch and you make your stitch for row one. So yarn over four times. Yarn over, only the left one you pull the yarn through is three. Yarn over, go to the down, to the bottom of your work and you see here, again, you see here that you have your V, your V, and here is a wrinkle. So it's not finished yet. You're gonna use these two to finish the stitch for the bottom. So there you go, a yarn over. Here you see the wrinkle, so under the two loops you're gonna pull the yarn through, is finish the stitch, only pull the yarn through one is make a new stitch, and make the stitch for row one. Yarn over four times. Yarn over, only the left one is three. Yarn over, on the bottom, Finish the stitch, make a stitch, and pull the yarn four times. 
to make the two double crochet, two high double crochet. Only the left one is three. Yarn over is four. On the bottom finish the stitch, make a new stitch. I have five loops on my hook and make the two high double crochet. And the difference between uh, uh, the treble crochet and the double treble crochet and the two high double crochet is that these stitches are connected. Look closely, all is connected and make uh, stick to each other. And a an two high double crochet of a uh, treble crochet and a double treble crochet is a one, two, three. Make uh, on the bottom your stitch, make a new stitch, and we make a, a treble crochet or a double treble crochet. Look, a treble crochet is not connected. Oh, wait a moment. There we go. A double crochet is not connected. It's standing alone uh, on on his own, and that's the beauty of a two high double crochet. You make two. Um, double crochet, treble crochet in one time, and they are all connected and make a steady uh, base for uh, your uh, crochet work. So that's the difference uh, with this new stitch I learned. And uh, the original stitch was uh, like this: uh, double uh, yarn over through two loops here on the front. They pull the yarn through. And then they make our double, uh, two high double crochet. So it's different than what we make because they use two threads, but it, uh, it's not beautiful connected like what I do. So that's what I saw, and I make it my own by yarn over, only use this one, yarn over. Make the bottom finished, make a new one, and make your two high double crochet. Yarn over, only the left one. Make the bottom finish, make a new one, and make your two high double crochet. The multiple we need is a multiple of three. When you crochet like this, it's multiple by three. For the waffle stitch we're going to make. Uh, row one is the foundation row with the two high double crochet. Row two is uh, um, two high double crochet front post and back post. And then we're going to make the waffle stitch. I'm going to make 15 of them. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. When you know how to make it, I see you in row one. When you want to see uh, again five stitches with the foundation row, uh, I'm going to show you again. Yarn over. Only the left one, make the yarn uh, on your hook, is three. Yarn over. On the bottom, only the two threads, pull the yarn through, is finish the stitch. Uh, yarn over, pull through one, is make a stitch. And we have our two high double crochet. Yarn over. In the left uh, thread we're gonna yarn over is three, yarn over, in the bottom, finish the stitch, make a stitch, and make your two high double crochet. I have that rhythm in my head because it's a difficult uh, technique we use, and because of the rhythm you can um, uh, never forget to finish the stitch and make a stitch. So that the bottom is even with the up, uh, the row one. Now I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Still two to make, and I make a finish, a new one, and our two high double crochet, and still one to go. Finish the stitch, that's important. Finish the stitch, make a new stitch, and make your stitch for row one. Here we have 15, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 15 stitches, and you can use your stitch markers for the uh, 
stitches below to finish and uh, work them around but when you look closely to your work you can see that there's a beautiful V when you finish the stitch when you don't finish the stitch you have it like here it's like a wrinkle it's like it's not finished yet it's 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 a bloopy <laughs> Uh, so that's the difference you see when you finish the stitch and not. What I like about the foundation row, it's flexible, it's even, it's um, you don't need a, a bigger hook than your original uh, crochet work. So I use eight an, an eight millimeter uh, hook for the bottom, and I use this uh, crochet hook eight millimeters also for the rest of my work. So you don't need a bigger hook or or something else it's even and, and stretchy and flexible and in the same stitch as that you work your other uh, uh, stitches so that's what I like about a foundation row